touch and electromagnetic interaction this is the topic of discussion in today's lecture touch and electromagnetic interaction why this is the topic why i am talking about uh, here touch touch means here means uh, i want to explain how we feel the sensation of touch when we touch something any object then how that sensation we feel okay because this is related to dark matter we know that dark matter is invisible okay so there is a link between this uh, sensation of touch and uh, the reason why we can't see dark matter that's why i am going to discuss this topic in this channel anyway so first let us uh, explain how we feel the sensation of touch so suppose there is one object and whenever we touch that object we feel that sensation sensation of the object we can feel how this is possible how this happens we know that uh, our skin is surrounded by uh, sorry our body is surrounded by skin and in the skin there are receptors okay and any object any ordinary object is made up of <coughs> atoms molecules and there are electrons you know that thing similarly at the receptor in the receptors of our skin there are also electrons so whenever we come in contact with any object means whenever we touch something then in that case what happens light charges like uh, electrons light charges repel each other and uh, unlike charges attract each other that means there is a uh, presence of electromagnetic forces if you talk about two electrons then they will repel each other if you talk about one electron and one proton then they will attract each other that means there is the interaction of electromagnetic forces since that interaction is present that's why we can feel the sensation of touch okay if receptors are not present then in that case we cannot feel the sensation if you do your experiment by using the end of your hair okay so hair cannot sense any object if the end of the hair touches any object say you have long hairs people have long hair you know that thing if you use the end of the hair to touch any object that woman or the female person cannot sense that touch the feeling of touch she cannot sense because receptors are not there at the hair end receptors are not there okay so receptors are required and they should interact with the object so how this interaction is taking place through the electromagnetic forces why electromagnetic forces but you know that dark matter they do not absorb electromagnetic radiation they do not emit electromagnetic radiation that means they do not interact with electromagnetic radiation this is known to us okay dark matters do not uh, interact with electromagnetic radiation so it is likely that they also do not interact with electromagnetic forces therefore we cannot sense the contact or the touch of dark matter maybe right now i am surrounded by dark matter okay but i cannot sense the presence of dark matter because my body or my skin cannot sense the uh, presence of dark matter because uh, for the purpose of sensing some electromagnetic uh, interaction electromagnetic forces must be required since the dark matter which surrounds me does not respond to electromagnetic forces show my skin though the receptors are present in the skin but my skin cannot sense 
the presence of dark matter. One more thing, dark matter is not composed of electrons, protons or neutrons like ordinary matter. Uh, it is hypothesized that uh, dark matter is composed of axions or WIMPs or sterile neutrinos. WIMPs mean weakly interacting massive particles. Okay, so our sensory organ or the uh, nerve veins which are present in our skin cannot sense all those things. Those things respond only via gravity. Dark matter responds only via gravity. Presence of dark matter is inferred only through gravity and nothing else. Still scientists do not know anything else by which the presence of dark matter can be known. Anyway, so this was all about today's topic, touch and electromagnetic interaction. So it is known to us that dark matter does not interact with electromagnetic radiation and it is likely that since it is not interacting with uh, electromagnetic radiation, therefore uh, it must not interact with electromagnetic forces. And that's why I'm saying that uh, if I am surrounded right now by dark matter, still I cannot feel the presence of dark matter. Since electromagnetic interaction is absent. Anyway, so this is the end of this video. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.